There it is, in plain sight. Luckily, Zimbi did not know its full power. Not with these two guarding the door. Spirit propelling idols. Zimbi placed them to keep out all but the most powerful spirits. She said it was for our safety. Ah, yes. I laid down voodoo symbols to keep our bedroom safe. I'd be proud of my work if I weren't furious. Clever thought. The chalk symbol repels spirits, but not the undead. She swept the chalk lines away with the dirt. My mask and robe, an impressive sight which strikes fear in my students. This robe could be useful. Catchy, but I don't know the tune. It's a smuggler's drinking song. Something about uh, a pirate queen. Bluebelly, can you identify this song? Can you hum it for me? I don't sing. I'm tone deaf. That's okay. I can figure it out. Hmm. I didn't quite get it. Can you hum it again? What? Okay, fine. <laughs> Wow, that is really familiar. I almost got it that time. Could you hum it for me one more time? I'm sure I'll get it this time. What? Again? This is the last time. Okay, do you have it now? I got it. No, never heard it before. But you have a lovely singing voice. I am going to skin you alive, you, you son of a... <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding me. That song's called Sally Seaworthy. My sister sings it all the time. Here, I'll sing it for you. She's the pirate dame from the Voodoo Sea. Holler out her name, Sally Seaworthy. Yeah, that's great, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you were listening too? Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Though it wasn't quite music to my ears. <laughs> Vojo Mountain is shaped like a skull and crossbones to warn people away, but it keeps getting attention by meddling kids. Maybe we should have shaped it like homework. This one looks loose. Hmm, still it bothers me. Oh, 
Oh, that's a standard secret lever. Just about every conspiracy has one. There should be a secret door or compartment somewhere. Squeeze the latch in back, pull it toward you, and then crank it to the right. Secret panel! Is this a code you've seen? Sure, that's a smuggler's code. I can read the symbols, but the would you see Lady Pirate? Someone mixed up the order. My wife didn't know any smugglers. She knew Greenbeard. <sighs> The music might be related to this code. Sure, that's it. The symbols on the wall illustrate the chorus to Sally Seaworthy. They're just scrambled a bit. I'll tell you the order and you move them into place. She's the pirate dame from the Vuju Sea. There it is. Ah, holler out her name, Sally Seaworthy. Nothing happened. No, behind you, Doc. Turn around. I knew that. This should explain everything. It's blank. What does this mean? There's a list of ingredients on the side. Unicorn tears, dragon size, crushed dreams, bicarbonate of soda? Can you elucidate on this? It's invisible ink, the kind spies use. Your contact rubs watered down vegetable acid over the words to make them visible. I'm no cook, but they might come in handy. Oh, I know what that is. Throw it to me. You cook? What are these? Parmapalon, tropical floor mama, voodoo ham, red cabbage. You're colorblind. It's blue. That's because it was grown in some very acidic soil. The more acidic, the more blue it gets. They are one. I still have cabbage water on my fingers. I'll rub it on the ladder. Curse that harpy! It says, Ha ha, this is not a clue. Try something else, Zimbi. Excellent idea.
I really do not want to clean, but in case... Queen Zimbi wrote a blocking curse on the skull to interfere with my link to a shell. She must have used the invisible ink she hid in our bedroom. I need to read the curse somehow. Say it backwards and then clean the skull to remove the curse. What Jane said, pour water down vegetable acid on whatever got ripped with that ink. I'll scare the maid again with my mask and robe, and get it. Good. Yes, I have it. I can reverse the words. Now, I need to clean the skull. Blue Bonnie. Blue Belly, mate. How many times? Blue Belly. Yeah, yeah, Blue Belly. I I'm sorry. Under a little stress here. That excuse is getting old. What can I help you with? It's just... Blue Belly is such a... unmanly name. You need a name that shows some self-respect. <sighs> what do you need? Do you know how to remove ink stains? Well, yeah. Everyone knows that. I'm not everyone. So do you mind telling me how? My god, do you ever clean? No, of course not. Woman's work. And you wonder why your wife tried to kill you. Quiet, woman. I'm talking to Blow Blowy. I, I mean Blue Belly. Besides, my wife, my ex-wife, agrees. See? She made the female zombie the maid. You're still a pig. Calm down, you two. Papa Doc, you just use warm water and a healthy dose of lemons or lemon juice. That's all. I used it all the time when cooking squid, and they'd squirt ink in my shirt. Works like a charm. Good luck with your stains, mate. I'll scare the maid again with my mask and robe, and get it. And that's the last cleaning I'll ever do. Ishel, please help me. Zimbi has betrayed me and put a curse on me and my two companions. Though the stone charm you gave me protected us from true death, we are now just spirits. Can you reconnect us to our bodies and make us fully living again? Something is still blocking her. Aye, Ishel will do this for you. A charm you must overbody wave and stamp three for Loa Samadhi. For your tribute he does crave. Then call the five Loa of the air. Summon their aid to your side. Then ask them for their blessings. Then in the bodies your souls will slide. Ishel, can you hear me? Gone. That was enough at least. I know now how to get our spirits back into our bodies. Though I still need to find a way to get my juju stick. Yes, I could tie them up, but how? I must do it from a distance. And I don't know how to make a lasso. I need help getting this rope under two idols. You're a pirate. Can you help me? But I am just a dainty woman. I would break a nail working on ropes and then faint from the pain. You sure you want help from little old me? You were raised on a pirate ship, were you not? You must know something about tying ropes, loops and knots. Fine. What do you need? I want to tie this rope to both idols, but I can't get near them. I'll show you what to do. 
It worked well. Problem solved. I'll grab the rope and remove this gentleman. Their guardian spirit is channeling down the rope. I can't touch it. I should block off my oracle room. Now, no one will interrupt my talk with Ishel. Once more. It's voodoo time! Jane and you, the other one. I. The other one, here. I now have what I need to combine our spirits and bodies together. Bring the bodies to me as soon as you can. And Jane, when you have the ship, I will perform the ritual and we can escape. <laughs> 